we've reached the end of a main section in Philippians as we come to today's verse. And we can tell that it's the end of a main section in what Paul is writing in his letter, because these are the words he writes in chapter 4, verse 1. He says, So then, my dearly loved and longed for brothers and sisters, my joy and crown, in this manner stand firm in the Lord, dear friends. In this manner, stand firm in the Lord. In what manner? Well, in everything he's said so far in the letter. Uh, This has been a letter that Paul has written to the church in Philippi. It's been incredibly clear already that he, he loves this church deeply. He says he longs for them with the affection of Christ Jesus. And it shines through again in verse one of chapter four. So then my dearly loved and longed for brothers and sisters, my joy and crown, Dear friends, look at the way he describes them. He loves them. Uh, If you're from Ingleton Evangelical Church, I love you and I long to meet with you again. It's hard not to be able to be with you as a church to gather. If you're not from Ingleton, as Christians, we love one another, don't we? I'm sure you miss being with your church and you long to be with your people too in your fellowship. But as a pastor of this church, I want you to do exactly what Paul wanted the Philippians to do. Stand firm in the Lord. Now, if you need a reminder of what that means, read back through Philippians so far. It's always good to to read through a whole chunk of verses in one sitting. We've gone slowly through this as we've gone through Philippians, but read the lot together, the first three chapters. It's only 81 verses. Now, I've got a little printout here of Philippians and I've just highlighted how often the Lord Jesus Christ is mentioned. Let me count them up for you. In 81 verses Paul mentions Christ, sometimes he refers to him as the Lord or he, him, his. How many times? Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. (laughs) 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Sorry, just turning the page. Uh, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. I get 57 times Paul mentions the Lord Jesus Christ in 81 verses. So here's my challenge to you to help you stand firm in the Lord. Go through the first three chapters. Highlight every time Jesus is mentioned, whether it be by the name Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord, or it's just him, he, his. Count them up, highlight them, and then see what connection Paul is mentioning the Lord Jesus Christ there. Is he mentioning something Jesus has done for us, is doing for us, will do for us? Is he saying, and this is how you ought to be like Christ? Just take note of them as you go, and it will help you to stand firm. Stand firm in the Lord. Fix your eyes on Jesus. All he has done for you, is doing for you, will do for you, and all the ways you ought to be like him. I love you, so I urge you to do it.